everyone. Welcome back to Point Source Science. Today, we're diving into something super important. It's happening in every living cell in your body right now. It's called cellular respiration. So, what exactly is cellular respiration? Well, it's the process that all living things, from plants to animals to you use to get energy from food. It happens in every single cell, whether it's a plant cell or an animal cell. Basically, cellular respiration is how we turn the food we eat, or in the case of plants, the food they make during photosynthesis into energy that cells can actually use. The key player here is glucose. That's the type of sugar you get from the food you eat or that plants create through photosynthesis. During cellular respiration, glucose is broken down inside the cell in order to release its stored energy. This all happens in a special part of the cell called the mitochondria. You can think of them as the cell's power plants. In these mitochondria, glucose is combined with oxygen and the magic begins. Let's take a closer look at the process of cellular respiration. Inside the cell, mitochondria use sugar and oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, and ATP. Energy, your cells need to do basically everything. Here's the chemical formula for cellular respiration. So that's glucose plus six oxygen molecules yields six carbon dioxide and six water molecules along with ATP. Now, let's talk about why animals and plants both do cellular respiration. Animals like us need cellular respiration to break down the food we eat into energy so we can move, grow, and function. Even when you're sitting still, your body needs energy to keep things like your heart beating and your brain working. Plants need cellular respiration to break down the glucose they make during photosynthesis into energy they can use to grow, repair, and carry out essential functions. Even when a plant isn't actively growing, it still needs energy to maintain its cells and stay alive. Processes like nutrient transport, responding to their environment, and producing new leaves or roots all require energy, which comes from cellular respiration. So, let's recap. Cellular respiration happens in both plants and animals. Mitochondria break down glucose using oxygen to make carbon dioxide, water, and ATP, the energy our cells need to do everything. It's the reason why we can run, grow, and even breathe. Even though plants make their own food through photosynthesis, they still need to perform cellular respiration to turn that food into energy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Point Source Science for more awesome science videos. Until next time, keep exploring the science around you.